So the other day, I went to the mall to meet up with a subscriber to sell him one of my Nintendo 3DS games, Pokemon Moon. After the sale was done, he gave me a free Pokemon card. So this right here is the card that they gave me. I really appreciate it. We got Lugia V-Star. So your boy's probably gonna play Lugia V-Star and Tyranitar V come post-rotation. I'm selling a couple other games. So if y'all are interested in buying my video games, I'm selling them on eBay. Legend of Zelda or Canary Enough Time, Pokemon Ruby, Zelda, Super Mario Party for the Switch, and I say get five. On that note, I finally updated my eBay store with a few singles as well. So if you wanna buy some singles, feel free to check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down below. Today we're gonna be opening up one of these boxes, the Silver Tempest Build and Battle Stadium. The last time I opened up a Build and Battle Stadium was for Evolving Skies. Build and Battle Stadiums are amazing because they basically let you have a little pre-release showdown at the comfort of your own home if you want. But if you are, uh, if you're willing to go outside and touch some grass, you can absolutely go to some pre-release events happening this weekend and next at a bunch of locations. Check with your local game shop if you want to open up some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet cards early and compete in their pre-release tournaments. And also, if you plan to attend any, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious how many viewers I have here actually play the game. The Build and Battle Stadium for Silver Tempest. I've been saving this for a while because I wanted to open it up with a friend. However, Silver Tempest is going to be kind of old news when Scarlet and Violet comes out. So when Scarlet and Violet Stadium comes out, the Build and Battle Stadium, we're going to open that up with Robert and see how things go. But let's pop this open. It's a little like an ETB, but not quite. Really cool, special box right here. It's the same size of an Elite Trainer box. First up, we have a bunch of booster packs right here. We got four loose packs of Silver Tempest. Some damage counter dice right here in blue. That font is super thin compared to the other Pokemon dice. We also have an energy break here too, which you're going to need so you can actually build the decks you want with the amount of energies that you, uh, you're going to need to have in your deck. When you go to pre-release tournaments, you don't have to worry about energy cards, but you're probably going to want to bring your sleeves. So the stores will usually provide extra energies, but sleeves are another thing. So maybe bring some ETB sleeves, the poison and burn markers. Finally, we got two of these boxes inside. These are the build and battle silver tempest boxes. So in total, you get 12 packs. Let's open up the Silver Tempest booster packs first. Now, one thing you can do with a friend is maybe you go like half seas on a box, you split the box, and then you can compete essentially for like the booster packs. Kind of a fun idea. So if you want to, you know, spend a night in, the Build and Battle stadiums are definitely a fun item to buy for those purposes. You can also get the camera in focus pretty please. Come on, there we go, all right. You can all, oh my gosh, I'm Bruh. having a struggle today. The Dene, Venonet, uh, Dupiter, Spinda, Feebas, Noivat, Arcanine, Reverse Hollow Rare, I believe, and a Verizon Wallow. Verizon Wallow? Verizon Wallow. Oh my gosh, my brain is melting. This is what happens when you play too much volleyball in a short amount of time. All right, next pack. Here we go. Grass Energy, Unidentified Fossil, V Guard Energy, Torcat Dreepy, Vulpix, Amolga, Chim Chimeco, Boonery, Crocorock, and a Kling Clang. I will be buying the Silver Tempest Build and Battle Stadiums and ETBs. And the really cool thing about those is they're gonna start coming with promo cards. Like usually promo cards aren't a thing for those boxes. Uh, they just come with sleeves, but this time they're second stepping it up for Scarlet and Violet. All right, here we go. Morpeko, Capturing Aroma, Snorunt, Sandile, Finnekin, Murkrow, Beldum, a Hisuian Bravery, and a Reshiram V. There we go, our first ultra rare of the day. We actually gave this away during a live stream recently. If you guys don't know, we've been doing some more and more live streams, so if you want to subscribe with notifications on, that way you know when we're live. We do end up doing a few giveaways on the streams for both online code cards and uh, cards as well, just like actual physical cards. Feel free to drop by, open invitation whenever we're live. We don't have a strict schedule at the moment, but we will figure something out soon enough. All right, we got Pitalil, Chinshu, and an Earthern Seal Stone. Box number one, build and battle kit, Silver Tempest action right there. Personally, if you have the option to buy the build and, uh, build and battle kits or the booster, uh, little mini booster bundles that they have, 
I would recommend the booster bundle unless you really want one of those four stamped cards. So let's see what the stamped promo card is for this particular box. And we got this paper that tells you a bunch of cool stuff and we got the Rapidash. All right, so let's just take a look at the Rapidash deck together real quick, show you guys what's in this Rapidash deck. Now before the decks used to be kind of like not that great, but uh, they've been making them like more competitive right out the get-go. So it's gonna be less luck based essentially on your packs. Your packs have a big uh, have a big factor in whether or not you're gonna see success in like a pre-release tournament. But it's nice that they have like actual competitively viable decks. And uh, these are also, by the way, if you didn't know, these are considered a level two product. So they are better cards than what you would get from a level one V starter deck. Let's show you what they have in the Rapidash Silver Tempest little deck right here. We got the Hollow Rare Rapidash, which is an alternate artwork and has the stamp. We got a bunch of fire energies because it looks like this deck is going to utilize fire Pokemon. And the Rapidash also, I believe, amplifies damage for your uh, Pokemon as well. Lots of fire energies. Holy cow. I am losing track of the amount of fire energies. We got Ponyta. All right, we got Ponyta some Ponytas, there's the other Rapidash. So this is the Rapidash as a non holo rare. And then we have the Rapidash as the holo promo right here. Now I believe if you pull this card from the actual set, it will be holo. So just keep that in mind. So we got the Rapidash, we got Sunkern, couple Sunkerns. I think, I think I remember playing this deck with the Silver Tempest uh, pre-release tournament. If you guys haven't seen my Silver Tempest pre-release tournament vlogs, check it out. I'll leave a link down below. We got Clara, Gloria, Escape Rope, Vulpix, likely some Ninetales right behind it. All right, what else? We got a Research, we got a Wallace, Cynthia's Ambition, a Magma Basin, an important card for any fire deck. We got Zisu, Ultra Ball, and Raihan, and a V-Star Marker. Let's get to the four booster packs that were inside the pre-release kit. All right, we got two Lugia pack arts. Ooh, can we pull a third Lugia alt art, man? That'd be kind of nuts. We've already pulled two Lugia alt arts on the channel. So if you missed out on those uh, those videos, feel free to check them out, man. But Lugia V is the most popular alt art I've ever pulled because well, actually, we did pull two alternate art Espeon VMAXs and two alternate art Gengar VMAXs in the same Fusion Strike booster box. So if you don't believe me, check out the error box that we opened up on the channel. Let me just get this focus properly done because it looks like my camera is not playing nice today. All right, there we go. We got a Relicanth, Halucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, Drowsy, Toxapex, and a Superior V. Not the most competitive card, but hopefully, I really like grass Pokemon, so I'm hoping that when it comes to the Scarlet and Violet set and onward, that grass Pokemon become a bit more competitively viable, because uh, I would like to play grass Pokemon, but right now, grass Pokemon are just not good. All right, we got a Worker, Sunflora, Donphan, Chinchu, Meditite, Dupiter, Ponyta, Venonet, a Reverse Hollow, Ryuklis, Ryuklis? Ryuklis and a Miss Magus. And I forget if we pulled any big bangers out of the Evolving Skies uh, Build and Battle Stadium, now that I think about it. So maybe I'm cursed. Maybe Ooh. Build and Battle Stadiums don't have good pull rates for myself. I would say the same for about ETBs. ETBs give me some really bad pulls. Fungus and Armoraldo, Armoraldo? Armaldo. Armaldo. Last pack from that box. Here we go. And these packs are a little trickier to open up. All right, there we go. Let's get, but I'm very excited, man, for all of these, uh, I was gonna say Silver Tempest pre-releases, all of these Scarlet and Violet pre-releases I'm attending. I'm excited. Uh, and if you guys haven't yet bought tickets to go to a pre-release in Toronto, I'll leave Manta link down below and you guys can sign up for their pre-release tournament, Beldum. Let's get to the next box right here. And uh, I don't think my promo code works on events. So if you wanted to sign up for like a tournament or a build and battle uh, pre-release event, you don't get to use my code sneaker talk TCG for 5% off. But if you want to buy Pokemon cards, either in store or online, uh, you guys can use it at mantatrading.com. My promo code gets you 5% off, which is really juicy and supports the channel a ton. But let's see what deck we get here. Ooh, another Rapidash deck. So I'm pretty sure the deck might be the same, but I've seen some cases where the decks are in fact different in terms of like the evolutionary line uh, Pokemon that they have inside. I'm trying to scratch that card. There we go. Just want to verify the contents of this deck. So we got the Rapidash. We have the 100 million energies. And if we see the Sunflora, it'll be the exact same deck. 
and yeah, so Sun Current Sun Flora. So the exact same deck, we don't need to go over everything, but one thing we do need to go over is these four packs of Silver Tempest. So here we go. I'm hoping that this second build and battle kit can bless us some good luck because so far, our best pull of the day is in fact the Reshiram V Hollow or uh, Ultra Rare. Yeah, the Reshiram V Ultra Rare out of eight packs. We're eight packs deep, man. All right. Ooh, white code card. Ooh. You hate to see it. That is going to be a guaranteed L of a pack. Unless we get some heat out of the trainer gallery. I do forget that there is a trainer gallery sometimes. So trainer gallery can come clutch. Let's see what we get. A Ooh, a rock rough. A cute, cute rock rough and a cling clang. But yeah, this rock rough right here, I'll probably sell on my eBay store. So again, link down below to my eBay store. If you guys want to support the channel, buying cards for me is a really good way to support your boy. And I also have some video games as well. I'll be listing a bunch of shoes too. So if you're a size 10, around a size 10 US, I'll have a ton of sneakers uh, being posted in an upcoming sale. So be on the lookout for that. Smeargle, Esper, Dratini, Lance, and a Rapidash. Dude, this might be one of the most painful boxes to open of all time. Another white code card. Holy smokes. This makes me never want to open Silver Tempest again after this. This might be the last Silver Tempest opening on the channel. Unless we get like Silver Tempest packs from uh from some box collections or something like that. We got Furrow Seed, Amoongus, and Amoongus Bruh. again. Oh man. Last pack magic. Let's see what we can get, man. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to y'all. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me get to 20,000 20, subscribers, tell somebody about the channel that you know who likes Pokemon. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet already. It really does help me out. All right, here we go. We got a Fire Energy, Brexen. And we have a bunch of fire Japan vlogs on the way. We just posted another Japan vlog. So we have three new ones from my recent trip on the channel. And I have a bunch more. I have like six hours of raw footage. We got an Archeops, Reverse Hollow, and a... Painful, painful unboxing video. Click on screen right now to help ease the pain. And I'm just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I've, I gotta go. <laughs>